So today I'm in downtown Denver. I'm going to check out the Forney Museum of Transportation. I'll put a link in the description um, so you can get more details about the history. Very interesting history. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, just got buzzed in. There's the initial look. There's a cloud guide that goes with this that guides you through every <clears throat> display, which is very helpful. So I'm going to start doing that. And I'll add some video highlights as I go through the museum. Let's check out the steam engine engineer area. So attached to this front, if you ever wondered how train tracks are cleared for trains when it snows, here is a close-up. I mean, this is 15 feet high, maybe. 
cute little face on there. And here's the story of how it worked. Here's the car that it's attached to. This is the other side of the big boy that I was just on. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Anyone that has any kind of a fondness for trains will love this place. And this is just the train part, not even the car part. Good finger. Let's take a look at this Burlington root caboose. inside the dining car, I think. There's a restoration and process on this car. So. Several displays on the various dining experiences of the several railroad lines. These are actual artifacts. As one can tell from the prices on the menu. So I just came out of the Forney Museum of Transportation <clears throat> and I'm just overwhelmed. I was in there for over two hours. There's a train section, car section, a small airplane helicopter area, uh, some outlying type odd transportation vehicles, and then a huge motorcycle section and a huge bicycle section. I mean, I got through the train section and the car section and I, there is just so much to read, so much to see. There's a guided tour through the uh, cloud, a cloud-based app that you can get use on your phone and it's just I, I beyond highly recommend this even if you're not strictly into cars or, or whatever it's just the the historical value of the it, it's just very well done so anyway 
um, I decided after a few minutes, well, a few minutes after over two hours there that I, I could not do a video on the whole thing. I've got to do it section by section. So I just focus on the train and the cars and I'll work on that. And I have to come back again to do the bicycles and uh, the motorcycles. So if you're ever in Denver, the Forney Museum of Transportation, fantastic. Mr. Kane, we leave this seat. I'll shovel coal.